A woman who bills herself as a psychic surgeon says attempts to shut down her shows are unfair and she has helped heal people with many illnesses, including Parkinson's and brain tumours. The New Zealand Skeptics Group has emailed all the venues booked for Jeanette Wilson's tour in a bid to get the shows shut down. The group says the tour is dangerous because Ms Wilson, a former bank manager turned psychic, claims to heal sick people by working with God and talking with spirit surgeons. Jeanette Wilson says at least 10 people suffering from various ailments are healed during every show. I asked her how she knows they're healed. Because all of a sudden they can move a leg that was paralysed or they can see out of an eye they couldn't see out of or their breathing improves and they can walk a long distance and they couldn't or they're out of their wheelchair. It is that dramatic. So have you healed uh, someone who's paralysed? Yes. And I filmed that... That was in uh, Croydon probably two months ago. That lady's name's Hazel. She had MS, paralysed, right side, uh, came in a wheelchair, was able to walk around and stood for most of the evening, having recovered the use of her leg. And have you checked back? Is she still yes. healed? She's still healed. She's continuing to make progress. OK, so is it just sort of orthopaedic things? I've seen some of the videos. Is it just knees and hips and ankles? Or do no. you do no. cancers or tumours? or? Yep, I've worked on people with brain tumours, cancers. Um, uh, I've worked on people with things like fibromyalgia, chronic fatigue, you name it. I've worked on most conditions. Occasionally I will find a person I can't help, but usually, um, usually I'm able to help them. It sometimes takes more than one session, particularly with something that's terminal. Um, and I may be given guidance as to some protocol they need to follow. Uh, but usually it's, it might be a food, it would be something very, very natural. And I never, ever tell them not to see a doctor, not to follow what doctors say. I work uh, complementary to doctors. It's not alternative. It's definitely complementary what I do. So I'm understanding this properly. Through... Whatever spirits work through yes. you, you have cured yep. cancer as well. Yes, I can say that. Yes, I've got clients that I could provide testimonies uh, that that has happened. But I've also seen people with cancer where the healing has not helped them. Everybody is different. But you say that you have, there have been instances where you've cured cancers yes. or tumours. Yes, Absolutely. What do oncologists uh, say about your work? Um, no oncologist has ever come to see me, and that's really, really surprising because I would have thought they know the results that I've got, but nobody comes to see me, and I find that really, really surprising. If I was a doctor, an oncologist, uh, I know there's a, an oncologist on the Gold Coast, uh, a lady who had got uh, brain tumours, came to see me, saw me once, all the tumours went, I know when she went back to see him three years later, he broke down in tears. But he wrote a report on me, apparently, but without talking to me, without interviewing me. Um, so I've been doing this for 25 years, and it actually surprises me that the medical profession do not want to know what I'm doing. I suppose one of the issues in, is being, that is being raised in relation to a, a tour of yours that is coming up is when you're making claims, like with medicines or any other medical treatments, if you're making claims about therapeutic benefits or cures, they need to be supported by evidence. Have you got scientific evidence that it's what you're doing that has resulted make, in the healing or a cure? I don't make any scientific medical claims for what I do, I say, come and see, bring me your sore backs, your sore knees, whatever conditions you've got, let's see what happens for you. I never can say I can cure a condition because I don't know, everybody's different. You ask me if I've cured people of cancer, I don't do the curing, God does, but I have had clients that have got remarkably better and there is no explanation for it other than the healing intervention. Yes, but your website says that you have healed people and you offer healing. So whether it's through you as the conduit, you're um, yes. advertising a service which suggests people can be cured of medical conditions through this yes. psychic surgery. That's a fair representation yes. of what you're saying, isn't it? 
it is a fair representation of what I'm saying, but I never ever use the word cured because that doesn't fit my framework of beliefs. But healing, healing is virtually the same word, and it suggests when you say you've healed people, it's interchangeable. If you've healed them, you've taken away what ails them, and you've told me that you have healed people of cancer. I have witnessed people being healed of cancer by God. I personally don't use that word cured. That's a word that you've introduced into this conversation. You've healed them. I don't them. use that word. It doesn't fit. I've, I've witnessed them being healed. And there's testimonies of those people. Mm. Now, I don't go out rah, rah, rah with my advertising to say, oh, look, I've healed cancer. That would be totally irresponsible. Mostly at my shows, I'm working on things like sore back, sore knees, sore hips, fibromyalgia, chronic fatigue, breathing problems, you name it. I'm working on all manner of different things. People come along to see a show to see what is possible. But I film every single healing. And you know what? In 25 years, I've not had a single complaint. But what is happening here in New Zealand, and it's only happened in the last two days, one man that belongs to some sceptic society that is supposed to be a charity. Well, I've got a question that a sceptic society would be a charity. Is trying You're sceptical about that, are you, Jeanette? Me. I am. If he was truly sceptical, he'd be enlightened. He's so, not he's closed-minded. He's not met me. He's not been to a show. He's not got a complaint from one of my clients. I've been in New Zealand doing this for 25 years. Sorry, 20 years in New Zealand, five in the UK. Given that you I don't are, get complaints. Given that you are using, well, spirits, or, or they're using you, whichever way you want to look at it, that there is an involvement I of a spirit. I I'm working with God. Working yep, with all God. All healing okay. comes from God. Do you have to be a believer then if you turn up at your nope. show to want to be That's healed? I'm not doing this at a show. I'm, I'm not doing the shows within churches because I don't want to bring belief systems into it. People can be sceptical. They, they can be atheists. It absolutely doesn't matter. And the you could still, still heal them? Place. There's still a possibility you could heal them? Yeah. So Look, how much I've does got that cost? I've thousand videos online. The mm. healing is free. The Show healing is free. $40. But you have to get in, don't you, to the venue? So Into the door, yeah. Yeah. So you pay how much to get in? $40. Yep. $40, yep. And, uh, but the healing itself is free, so nobody pays extra for the healing. Nobody's agreed in advance who I'm going to work on. There's over a 1,000 videos online on my website, uh, Facebook page, Jeanette Full Stop, Wilson Full Stop Medium, that people can look at and they can see all manner of different complaints being alleviated, and healed. So if you pay $40 and go to the, um, the show, how do, you get in the queue, show, how do you get in the queue to be healed? How do you choose the people no that queue. you heal? There's no queue. No, there isn't a queue as such. Everybody's in an audience. It's a small audience. It's an intimate thing. And the first thing I will ask in the first half is, who has got a condition that if it got better, the whole audience could see. I'm looking for things that will look particularly good on camera, but I'm also wanting to show the audience what is possible. So somebody might. What do you mean limp. looking for things that would look good on camera? Uh, because we are living in a sceptical world, if somebody says, "Oh, I did have that cake and now it's gone," who's going to believe that? I look for things that look good on camera in the first half. Yeah, in the second half, anybody can volunteer. But I'm causing a shift within the mind to show that these things are possible. But some of the have things... You watched, have yeah, you watched some I of have, the videos? I've watched a lot of your videos, actually. And, and right. some of the things... Have you like, seen there the lady that got a vision back? There was knee... the, the one... No, I've missed that, I've missed that one, but I can look it up. Have you there seen was, the lady with Parkinson's disease? There was knee complaints and a number of back complaints and joint yep. complaints. Those things are things that, well, you they're undetectable to the eye, aren't they? So even if they were on camera, we don't know. Well, where's the proof? Yeah, that, those ones are from the second half of the show, which is exactly my point, which is why in the first half of the show... I ask for the things that are visible for the camera. So I got a lady uh, from Barnsley that had Parkinson's disease and a particular kind of dystonia, which means she jerks her body. She can't stop. She's had it for 12 years. And in one session, that has gone for that woman, and that has changed her life. Now, so, there may be other people out there with that condition that have lost all hope of ever getting a cure because the medical uh, profession could not help them. I am giving people hope. And that self-proclaimed psychic surgeon, Jeanette Wilson.